Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York State Bridge Authority, our August 21st, 2014 meeting. Uh, we have here today our distinguished commissioner, Rod Dressel, our other commissioner, Dane Lashua, other commissioner, Roger Higgins, our other commissioner, Joseph Pragmatic. From me, from me, the ad of them. Folks in the house. I got that Italian slur today, but you were talking about where you were before. <laughs> we also have um, our new uh, project uh, engineer, Jeff Wright. Jeff Wright. We also have our attorney, Carl Whitback. And we have our executive director, Joseph Rogerio, and myself, uh, Richard Jarrington, as chairman. We have a uh, Oh, actually, our minutes from our July 17th minutes before us. So I'm read them and make a motion to approve so them. That's it. Second. 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 Any discussion? If not, roll call. Administration, there are no reports. Engineering and maintenance, Jeff. First one you're going to do is so we didn't vote on that. I'm sorry. I'm moving things along too quickly. Uh, all all in, oh, we moved them. We seconded them. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody against? If not, here again, Jeff, it's your floor. Yes, we uh, requested a change order for the Newburgh Beacon Bridge painting project for $150,000 for miscellaneous steel repairs. Um, part of this work is repairing a yellow flag that was brought to our attention during the biennial inspections. Uh, that repair is going to cost $95,685.93. Um, we also are anticipating a second repair that's coming along in the works and other uh, minor repairs that, that may, uh, may come up as we finish the project in uh, September, October. Uh, it's anticipated that, um, well, we had $500,000 in the contract for miscellaneous repairs. We've uh, spent $517,000 uh, to date, so that's why we're requesting uh, additional funds to finish out the job. So moved. Second. Any questions? Was this any surprise to find the, the, the flag? Well, I mean, we never expect to find yellow flags, but, uh, you know, uh, they they will come up once in a while, and uh, was, we just have to deal with it. Otherwise, it was fairly timely, too, that we'd be able to find it. Really See, what happens is, with the painting job, you, you, you blast all the old paint off, and then you, you do find some, some new stuff. It's a lot easier to see. Any other questions? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Next, selection 9W repair for placement design council. Good song. Yeah, we, we, had a, uh, we had proposals come in. Um, they were reviewed by the, the committee, which consisted of Bill Moreau, myself, Martin Evans from the DOT, and George Fong. Uh, we reviewed the proposals, and uh, we'd like to suggest that we, we request a cost proposal from HNTB, as uh, the committee um, saw them as being the most qualified firm to do the design uh, engineering for this project. So we'll second. second. Discussion? Roll call? All aye. Favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Jobs in progress. Um, so you've got the summary here, uh, mostly it's just in-house uh, work on, on the Rip Van Winkle Bridge, um, some small design work with, with that Greenman Peterson did for the railing and sidewalk replacement job, um, and in uh, Kingston Rhinecliff, uh, again it's all in-house work, walkway over the Hudson. We've got uh, LKB, which did uh, design work for the navigation lights. Slutsky, which is doing the construction work. Um, Majeski and Master had, had also done some uh, condition inspection and survey work there, in addition to some in-house work that we're doing for upgrades to the electrical system and some uh, vegetation control. Then at the Mid-Hudson Bridge, uh, we've got uh, all in-house work. Slutsky did some HVAC upgrades to this building, and Piasecki has just uh, completed the hangar and bearing repairs out in the main span. Uh, then at uh, the Newburgh Beacon Bridge, again, a lot of in-house work. Uh, Amon and Whitney doing uh, uh, 
support uh, for the deck replacement project, Kiska doing the construction work, uh, Majeski Masters doing the construction inspection, uh, with a variety of other uh, consultants there all working uh, on the deck job, and then also Kiska uh, and Hacks working on the North Span painting project. <coughs> Is that job on schedule? Or? Yeah, the painting job should finish by the end of this year, end of November. Uh, they they will probably be done painting by the end of October, and then picking up the their containment and scaffolding and all that. Um, at Bear Mountain, it's just all in-house work. Hope to accept the jobs and progress report. Second. Second. Any questions? Nope. All in favor say aye. 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 Jeff, how is it so far? You like awesome. It? It's great. great. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Glad you're here. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Yes. Brian. Good afternoon. Basically, first up is the investment report. Uh, seven investments for the month, uh, the majority of which uh, routine put some money away in the revenue fund for the end of the year. Uh, investment yields continue to be low. Those investments are reflecting the investment inventory, uh, currently sitting at approximately $71 million on maintenance and construction. The construction fund is down to $34 million. That represents bond proceeds. We anticipate those funds now will be expended sometime in November. Okay, so it's a little later than we expected. Uh, just run along as, as uh, we revise the expected capital program. In the interest income and yield, uh, you'll notice uh, yield has gone up a bit as we expend a lot of the proceeds from the bonds, which were invested on a short-term basis. Move to accept the investment report. Second. Any questions? If not, roll call. One fair say aye. 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 short renewal? Uh, basically, last month when I put before the board the uh, insurance <coughs> renewal on the commercial package, I had uh, indicated that we would increase our deductible from 1,000 to 25,000, and I inadvertently put the reduction on the uh, resolution as opposed to the total premium. The total premium was 29,000. A, a new resolution is attached with the corrected amount. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you very much. I think that's the first mistake we've made since it's been here. <laughs> that we know. That we know. Yeah. We're here to actually taking the job. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne? Good afternoon. How are you? All right, so good, thank you. I uh, just have our <coughs> invoice from the Thruway Authority for a second quarter of 2014 Easy Pass expenses. So everything seems justified. Uh, just to note that uh, they also included March 31st charges because they had left them off the first quarter invoice. Uh, <laughs> so the total for second quarter is uh, $904,686.62. Uh, they have to be your approval to pay them. So um, First question, well, move, move, move it, then uh, we can ask for it. Move it, second. Move, Roger, yeah. second. Rod, Wayne, Dane. Um, I know this. The credit card fees are astounding. I, I, is that normal? I mean, ten percent or more for the, for uh, credit card fees. Wow. To outside agencies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just really amazing. <laughs> I, I was surprised. Should we get PayPal or something? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry. Oh. That was just a, just a minor thing. But 124,000. Mm -hmm. yep. Anyway, any questions? Nod, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Executive Director Joseph. Um, we have my monthly expense report. No expenses to report. We have the July 2014 traffic and revenue analysis report, as well as the Easy Pass sales analysis. Um, two items I do want to report to the board. Um, on September 2nd, the, the Newburgh Beacon Bridge uh, eastbound will be moved to two lanes permanently for the remainder of the Newburgh Beacon deck job until the November 2015. We are in the process of doing a public outreach campaign right now. We're putting up variable message signs. Uh, this morning I actually did a radio interview which is going to air on Sunday and we are actually going to be putting up public service announcements on the radio during the commuter times. We're to that phase of the construction 
Um, it actually is a good news, bad news situation. The bad news, obviously, we're going to two lanes on the bridge. Obviously, I-84 is two lanes. You know, the issue is with the on-ramp, off-ramp, I should say, off 9W onto the bridge. The good news is the overlay will be in place, so it will be a smooth two lanes right now, as some of you may have experienced going over the Newburgh Beacon Bridge with the panel replacement has been um, a bumpy ride for the motorists. So that's a, a new, something that we're going to be dealing with from now until the remainder of the job. The other thing on September 2nd, um, it's actually been, since I've been in this position, it's very rare I get a lot of public input on stuff, but um, you may have heard about the uh, movement around the state and the country to light up um, iconic structures in gold in the name of the pediatric cancer research for children with cancer. Uh, there's some I guess, controversy in the city about the Empire State Building not lighting up. Uh, we will be lighting up the Mid-Hudson Bridge gold on that evening. Um, I mean, literally, I've gotten half a dozen phone calls and requests to do it. Um, I actually reached out to Greg and he was already emailing me saying, hey, let's put the bridge gold and watch in the news and we need to be part of it. So you see the bridge gold on both September 2nd. It's a good It's not a good deal. <laughs> no, it's, it's just to hear yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> It's not about our fault. Well, it's apparently of all the uh, monies attributed to cancer research, only less than 5% actually go to pediatric cancer research. And, uh, they're actually becoming, because of this event all over the country, it's really raising awareness and making that money. We're doing our part. So one, um, one thing I was going to suggest, this is anecdotal, I haven't really gotten any comment, but just noticing coming from the Newburgh side to the Beacon side of the Newburgh Beacon Bridge, yeah. um, the signage it's, it is really uh, one of the things that would help, I think, with the public relations would be make sure the signage is clear and working. You know, and, and there's a couple of pointer signs on the other side, sort of in the trees, and sometimes they get, you know, you, you are a little distracted by them or they're because they're not, I don't know. I'm are they the electronic signs or actual road signs? No, there's roads, there are road so the signs. the trees are obstructing the signs. Yeah, and then the, uh, but the, the electronic signs are not always We've there. been having and issues I with that, and we're in the process of changing out the server on the, what is it, the Dombach? Yeah, Didac server is being changed out, and some of the uh, arrows have LEDs that are out, and they've been working through right. those Because it, it's really, you know, you can just, it, it just helps, you know, to make it um, look no, good. And especially with, you know, the changing traffic patterns and everything else going on, on the bridge. Part of the challenge with that bridge is the electrical system that's been, is in the process of being changed out as part of this job, and we've had several electrical fires that have turned up the fire and communications cables, which has disrupted our ability to control those mechanisms. So hopefully, as part of this project, we will clean all that up. I have a little question on um, positioning, which toll booths are easy pass mm -hmm. and full service. If you're narrowing down the two lanes. Right now, even when I went, I found myself, I was afraid to use Easy Pass, I found myself in the right hand lane. If I wanted to just go through the Easy Pass, I had to get over, I had to cut over several lanes to get out of the full third. I mean, I could have gone straight ahead, but I was choosing to go through the So maybe give it some thought when you, if you're picking these two lanes, so that cars have the options of which. Uh, that it's easy to get through the toll booths they right. need to go we through. May, I, I noticed when I go over the Whitestone Bridge, which is always seems to be under construction, they actually <laughs> start signage ahead of time, stay to the left for easy pass, stay to the right for cash. Maybe that's something we should consider on a temporary basis. For instance, I know going up the through or getting off or getting on to the north way, I know that it's easy if I get in the left-hand lane on the ramp going off, it right. brings me right on to a, a right. toll gate That's four, yeah. which is point. always easy pass, and then straight on the north way. Sure. I don't have to be going well, And they stagger their easy pass. Of course, they've got 10 lanes, too. Oh. Jeff, why don't we take a yeah, look at we'll that? That's that. actually a good recommendation. Thank you. Anyone else? If not, Joe, let's report. Uh, 
The last item under new business is the renewal of the government affairs services contract with um, Wilson Elker. It's Jerry Jennings' uh, firm that does our legislative affairs in Albany. There was a news story over the summer uh, critiquing governments and municipalities around the state for having pro paid lobbyists on the, uh, the public role, if you will. Uh, John, our spokesperson, Bellucci, Mr. Bellucci, uh, accurately described the role that uh, Jerry's office performs for us. And if we were to have an in house government services, the 30000 we spend to do it pales compared to what a full time legislative staff would cost. And all the other public authorities and entities do have large government services, the offices that are bigger than our entire management team. So, After that article, Joe, was there any feedback whatsoever or just not a word? Just me going, that's not fair. <laughs> Some old. And this, this has been done in the past, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And look, it was very, it's important to us, these part of the legislature, you know, is up there and their bill is important to the Bridge Authority and things that we have asked for and needed, he's helped shepherd through the legislature, mm -hmm. you know, on behalf of the Bridge Authority, so. Well, he's also told us things that we didn't know were pending as well, mm -hmm. so that we could respond to those and understand them. It's certainly helpful having that. Second. Are any other questions? Uh, no, I, I mentioned it briefly that I had it here. I don't know if there's any comments regarding yeah. the traffic and revenue analysis. Hold well, on, before you go, if you have a second, we're going to vote on the resolution for the government for fair services. Got it. We got it. Hagan's, I know. Well, we didn't vote on it. Oh, okay. No, they didn't vote. <laughs> but you have it? No. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't. All in favor say aye. 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 You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just, I, I know I mentioned that these reports are on the desk with the uh, traffic and revenue analysis and easy pass out. If there's any questions by the board on either one of them. You know, flat traffic kind of remains flat. Um, it's been good that we did the Trout on Modify program uh, that is bringing us the excess revenue. And I, Brian and I were talking the other day, and it's helped offset. You know, if we didn't have the benefit of the Trout on Modify revenue, revenue would be down. But like you say, we did about 5% over last year. So we've seen some drop off in commercial traffic. That's what I said, I, I enjoy the commentary that you put with it. Thank you. Help me understand the chart. No problem. Any questions on those two reports? If not, any other questions? Any other issues? Um, next month we'll have a budget vote, hopefully. We'll have the budget prepared, as well as the capital program for your consideration for 2015. And ask the stay on the table for what, 30 days for public comment. On the budget? Yeah, both. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions? Motion sure. adjourn. Second. 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 In favor, say aye. We'll get next meeting September 18th. Aye. All right. Thank you.